Hi right, guys, today we're working on a pair of Cat 3208s and we're going to do a uh, coolant flush, which is uh, kind of long overdue. I have this uh, Blue Devil complete radiator flush that I'm going to run through the engine. And really the only reason I'm doing this, uh, there I didn't have any issues and it's not time for a change. Um, I accidentally pulled something or pulled a plug out of the uh, engine and drained some coolant and in a pinch I went ahead and filled it with water uh, just to, to uh, get me by. But now it's time that I need to uh, get all the water out. Um, and I had the hardest time trying to find the actual uh, part to pull the plug. So I'm going to show you that. Uh, down here, which hopefully you can see this, but behind the, the oil cooler, you can see the two hoses right there. Um, going to be the oil cooler coming into this machine here. But there's a small plug that's right in there. Hopefully you can see that. Um, but it's basically right at the end bottom of the block. Uh, it's it's really uh, really tight down there, but I was able to locate it um, in that area. So it's it's on the center, basically the center part of the engine on the block, all the way at the bottom. So let me get you a little bit better angle here. So so there is a uh, plug that. I have already removed and I have already drained the uh, the coolant and took care of that. So this was the little plug that came out of it, um, just a 5 8 uh, standard standard plug. Looks kind of like a zinc, but it's not. So pulled that out and and uh, flushed it out with a little bit of water. And now I'm going to put the uh, plug back in and then put the uh, the flush coolant system or the coolant back in. I'm sorry, not the coolant, but the uh, the flush stuff. And here we're working on a Caterpillar 3208s. These are the uh, turbo after-cooled models. And this uh, this plug has definitely been, I'll say, a pain. So I was going to try to replace the plug and put in a uh, shutoff valve, but that did not seem to work just because of the uh, the amount of space that I have available to me in this location because of the hoses and there's also a 90 degree um kind of a 90 degree angle with the uh uh the back of the block i want to call it so let me get this in there i don't need this to be that tight because all i'm going to do is do a flush it's not going to be the the last time i touch it so i think that's going to be good right there so I'm gonna go ahead and add some water. Make sure it, uh, make sure the system is holding water. It's not dripping anything. feel like that's probably good if we were going to drip anything we would have already but now I'm going to add the flush so this actually says it treats 16 or uh, 12 quarts so I actually have I want to say a uh, 15 gallon system so I'm going to be a little bit short but I don't mind because it didn't actually need it it was just something I wanted to do since I had the the plug out and everything apart all right so I got the plug back in I'm go ahead and put the uh Solution in. And I like doing this on a warm engine. So when I, I drain the, uh, the fluid, I went ahead and brought it up to about 100 degrees. Um, not sure if you're supposed to, but anytime I really flush uh, fluids out of the engine, I try to uh, bring it up to 100 degrees just in case there's any contaminants that uh, are resting. So it helps kind of move move the fluid around. You guys let me know in the comments if uh, if I actually need to do that or if it's redundant. Uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah. Alright, so got that in there. Let me go ahead and uh, we'll fill it with water. And then we'll go ahead and run the engine for about 20 minutes or so. Get everything uh, nice and warm, moved around, and then we'll flush it back out. So, if you can, do me a favor. If you guys get anything from this video, 
uh, give me a like or, or uh, subscribe. Maybe even uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys do on yours. Uh, did you end up putting that 90 degree uh, or putting in that shutoff valve so you have an easy way to dump the fluid? Um, you know, I tried to use a hose uh, basically into a five gallon bucket, which worked out. Uh, but the nice thing about it, I think the Caterpillar uh, um, is the extended life coolant is actually uh, biodegradable. So, uh, so that definitely does help. All right, I think we got it full. So I'm actually gonna wait for my first mate, Kaylin, to come down. She's going to uh, kick the engine on for me. And I'm gonna stay down here and monitor and make sure that the coolant doesn't go too low. Um, and that way we warm the engine back up. Let me top this off real quick. <laughs> Let's let that all cool. Okay, so on and then start. One more time, start. Much better. And uh, keep cycling the fluid through the uh, through the engine. We'll drain that out again. There you go, and now off. Perfect, thank you. And then can you lift this hatch up just a smidge more? Oh, hydraulic oil. We won't need the hydraulic oil. What else is in there, bleach? Yeah, I don't need that. Actually, we might we'll grab that one for later. We'll, we'll use that at the end to clean. This? No, the other thing, the detergent. That'll work. How many uh, bottles do we have of Coolant? One, yep. two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven? Okay. Well, hopefully the eleven gallons will be enough. I... Alright, so we started our fill process and I got it right up to the edge. So now Caitlin's going to go ahead and turn on the engine, let it run for a little bit. And we're going to just make sure that we got all the air pockets out of the engine uh, and kind of top it off as we as we go as needed. So. Caitlin, if you would, kick that engine on for me. Yes, sir. Look at you calling me sir. <laughs>
saw it just bubble up there, so we're going to give it a second, see if it uh, levels off for us. out, getting all the, all the air out of the, out of the system. 